So unlike DLSS, which has ghosting and all that stuff, and unless it's like trained for the game specifically, RTX is very pretty. It's a nice little upgrade, right? But the thing is, is it's like, we can do this. See this dynamic lighting? They just weren't really thinking about it that hard in Portal, but there are games with dynamic lighting that don't have RTX. You can do dynamic lighting. You can do really good shadows. You can do all this stuff without RTX. And we've gotten really good at like simulating fake shadows and light rather than having a more realistic approach, which is like a more real shadows and light with RTX. So it's like, you know, the trade-off is, don't get me wrong, this is a game that was completely remade in it, but there's games that can look like this without RTX, and that also means without tons of processing power and sometimes dedicated cores for all this. Like, you don't need that. We've gotten really good at making fake shadows and lighting in games, and efficiently. You know, per pixel lighting, texture lighting, texture shadows, you can really do a lot with it. And RTX is almost like a backwards, and it's also kind of like a shortcut. It's like, oh, you can just turn this on. It'll destroy people's computers because it's not optimized. And it pretty much looks the same as what we could pull off if someone was just passionate about graphic design in video games. Like, we see stuff like this all the time before RTX even existed.